His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 20 for this year appointing Youth and Sports Affairs Minister as a member of the Higher Council for Education and Training Development for the same term specified for members of the Council effective from the date of issuance to be published in the official Gazette. He also issued Edict 21 restructuring the Minus Fund Council chaired by the Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments Minister and eight members for a two-year renewable term. The Prime Minister also issued Edict 22 transferring directors at the Civil Service Bureau, including Director of Communication Mohammed Hassan Al Awadi, to be Director of Institutional Performance, Director of Human and Financial Resources Isam Al Haiki, to be Director of Communication, and Director of Workforce Planning Daij Al Ben Ali, to be Director of Jobs Evaluation. The edict also appoints Adnan Mohammed as Director of Human and Financial Resources and Amin Al Goud as Director of Administrative Organization and engineering. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also received at Gudaibiya Palace today senior state officials, businessmen and journalists. The Prime Minister highlighted the role of the private sector in the national economic development, stressing the importance of commercial and economic unity to serve the best interest of the country and its economy amid ongoing developments. He noted their impact on Bahrain's economy, which requires everyone to bear their responsibilities so as to overcome all challenges. He reviewed governmental efforts to reinforce monitoring at governmental bodies in order to ensure responsible spending of public funds, praising the role of the National Audit Office in supporting governmental bodies to consolidate financial monitoring. The Prime Minister also commended the role of the local and Gulf newspapers, who became an essential partner in facing all challenges. He said the Gulf Council is a solid entity that has a regional and international impact and confirmed relations among Gulf countries and people are capable of creating a unified council towards more achievement achievements that meet the aspirations of their people. His Royal Highness recalled the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and confirmed that these bilateral relations especially have a history and outs of outstanding cooperation and coordination. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also met at Gudaibiya Palace the Honorary President of the Good World Society, Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Chairman of the Society's Board, Hassan Bouhaza, who presented to him the special edition book of the Society, which includes its activities and awards. The Prime Minister affirmed the importance of the humanitarian initiatives adopted by Sheikh Isa bin Ali, which sheds light on the successful experiences in Arab societies who dedicate their efforts to serve humanitarian and voluntary work. He commended the Sheikh Isa bin Ali Award for Voluntary Work, which is a good example for Gulf and Arab competition and cooperation at the same time. He asserted the government's support to such humanitarian initiatives that reinforce humanitarian values in Arab societies. The Prime Minister highlighted the role of the young generation in voluntary work is based on the values and principle of Islam, calling for more initiatives that upgrade the capabilities of individuals to be effective members in their society. Meanwhile, Sheikh Isa bin Ali thanked the Prime Minister for his constant support to voluntary work in Bahrain, which is encouraging people to exert more efforts in serving each other. He highlighted the Prime Minister's support to youth initiatives that reinforce cohesion and integrate it in the general culture of the people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Rafah Palace today the newly appointed Pakistani Ambassador to Bahrain, Mr. Javid Malik. The Crown Prince affirmed that Bahrain's openness has reinforced its economic development foundations, highlighting the Kingdom's care to relations with East Asia, especially with Pakistan. He affirmed support to bilateral relations to achieve more progress for both countries in the economic, commercial, industrial and financial fields. He also asserted support to all initiatives aimed at enhancing their cooperation in all strategic aspects. For his part, the ambassador expressed keen interest to perform an effective role that serves the deep-rooted bilateral relations and expand fields of cooperation.
His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, participated today in the Ironman Championship in South Africa alongside more than 1,200 contestants from around the world. His Highness expressed his delight in the participation, stressing the importance of the Bahraini team to participate in such events in order to achieve a positive result, gain experience and affirm Bahrain's position in the the world sports map. The Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh chaired the weekly meeting today and the Council approved a report by the Services Committee regarding the General Organization for Social Insurance. The Council also approved an agreement regarding elimination of all forms of discrimination against women, a draft law on the organization of industrial zones, establishing the Bahrain Exhibition and Convention Authority regulating tourism and transfer the functions of the Supreme Council for Vocational Training to the Labor Fund. The Council then approved a report by the Legal and Legislative Affairs Committee regarding the internal regulations of the Representative Council. A very good evening, you're watching the business and news on Bahrain Television. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,118.06 points, a rise of 0.8 above last closing. The rise was in the commercial bank sector, but the services sector was the most traded with 53% of total shares. 17 transactions involved 948,973 shares worth 475,239 BD.